Today we're exploring an abandoned coal-fired power plant. It was decommissioned several years ago as part of a clean energy initiative. We are in. Listen to that wind, man. This is nuts. These are just, this place is packed with machines. Whoa, come here. Holy shit. This place is cavernous. Whatever is vibrating in the winds. Sounds pretty crazy. It's probably up there somewhere. There's some big red doors up there. Wow, this stuff looks pretty old. This would be like a delay switch. This would spin and tr trigger switches in order. That's really, really cool. Here's another one of those. I think there's controls up here from what I saw. Not so much controls, but power meters. Brian looks very focused. <laughs> All right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get out of here. I want to go up the staircase that uh, goes over the big hole. Yeah. Check this out. Surge tank. This place is scary with the noises and everything. All right, here's where I want to go. Up here. Wow. Look at those scale things down there. We have to find the source of that noise. It might just be the roof. Yeah. Whatever it is, I think we're close to it. Oh, it's something up top here. Oh, this is a stretcher. So it gets hurt. It's battery is 6%.
That's just gonna go across to the same thing on the other side. I know, but it looks cool. This place is nuts. <gasps> the size of this room. We need to get in this room too. That's down on the first floor though. I'll let you take a look in there, Brian. Wow. That's a big room. That's a big room. This was the fan floor. A lot of stuff left here. Look how clean that towel is. That's crazy. Danger. Bob is in the power plants. What? <laughs> Danger. Here's an office. Friendly toaster. There's a safe back here. It still works. More offices. Yeah. There's a lot of documents in here. Like, the room is literally filled. Holy crap, this room too. Go in here. There's blueprints. I'm not being very graceful right now. <laughs> The documents we found in these rooms included blueprints, instruction manuals, schedules, and all sorts of record keeping. Many of the documents included sensitive information such as the name of the facility or personal information of employees, so we won't be showing them on camera. maintenance manager. This is cool. There's Everything so is much in stuff in here. More offices. Plant manager. Lots more blueprints too. This whole place is filled with diagrams. This is cordon off right here for asbestos. I mean, I'm not positive about that, but that's what that looks like to me. This one's open. But like, busted open. That just leads into the main power plant though. Right, oh, it's dripping with something. Let's go in here. Hassard, caution. Oh yeah, this is the room. No room. This is quite the room. Hopefully they completed asbestos abatement. It looks like they did finish. Except maybe not down there. Well, don't kick up anything. Oh, it's bigger. This is nutty. 
Looks like a lot would have been here, but it was ripped out. But I'm assuming it would have been more of this. Clothes. I don't know what to make of that. This time they got the E right, but not the rest of the word. I mean, not the E, they got the Z right. The E wrong. That's a wrench. That's a big wrench. Size comparison. It's amazing that these are even still left here, though. Those are for big bolts. Mm-hmm. are so cavernous. There's a turbine though. Or what's left of one. God damn, it's so dark now. That's okay because I have the through night. Is this the through night video? TN30. It is now. <laughs> Damn, that's pretty bright. Yeah. Look at all of that up there though. It's just so many layers of crap. You don't even see the end of it. You just see eventually so many layers that you can't see the back wall. You want to try and find that control room before it gets dark, because that's something we might want light for also. Oh, come in here. Wait, wait, wait. Come in here. It's cool. Do not operate. All fuses. Electrical testing room. I guess they'd like make test circuits and stuff in here. These look like modules even. What did this module do? Like they can just deploy them somewhere. I'm willing to bet this goes up to the control room. This is not the control room yet, but we're getting close. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see, these were the modules would go into. So were those like settings modules, maybe? Well. Maybe they were making different ones and swapping them. I don't know. Oh, bird feathers. Oh shit, look. Oh, oscilloscopes. And look what font it's in, Futura. Yeah. That's like the quintessential, I don't even know. Wow, I like that one with the green. All right, it's time. Ass kick. Yes. Yes, Holy that. crap. Look at the hazmat suit or whatever. It's chilling on the chair. That's the door we were looking in from before. Did you see how it's like a tunnel? Yeah. You can go through here. 
Holy crap, we need to walk through this tunnel. This tunnel is like gonna transform me into some sort of a crazy cyborg. So around the back of the control room, all the dials, which are blanked out without a service stickers, which is a little weird. I guess they're all out of service. The ink's bleeding pretty bad, but that right there in the middle is an actual yeah. graph line. It's cool. What is that, it's a clock? We just noticed that it's getting darker out and the lights turned on outside by that substation. Yeah, but I don't think that's completely Everything dead. on the far side, nothing close to the building. All the wires were disconnected to the building. You know what I find interesting? Hmm. Can you, do you see the railroad tracks right there inside the substation? Uh, yeah. That used to be for the coal to get here, I bet. Yeah, and they just built the substation over it. Yeah. This is all covered because it has asbestos in it, but we're gonna take a peek inside to see what it is. Just don't wanna have too much light because the QGS windows. What is that? Offices? Please be unlocked. Nope. It's pretty interesting in there. And we are in our second control room. That wasn't me. server still in the rack. Not really a crowded rack, a lot of blanks, but Ethernet's still wired. Holy crap! I'm dark. This is 23. 23? That's not that bad yet. We should still head out. Low is 9.
I just want to take a moment to thank our sponsor, Through Night Flashlights. Throughout this video, we used the Mini TN30, which is a nice, small, compact flashlight that has a lot of light. It is 3600 lumens in turbo mode and uses four rechargeable lithium ion batteries. The flashlight has multiple brightness levels and is waterproof to IPX8 standards, so it can be submerged up to two meters deep. For more information on this flashlight, the links are in the description, and thanks for watching.